Hi everybody and welcome back to another tutorial and um, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to work the corner to corner and um, stitch I've been asked by a couple of people to uh, do a tutorial on this this stitch is really um, it's a lovely quick stitch and um, it works up fairly fast and um, it's different to other stitches in that you don't need you only need to do a chain of six at the beginning and then you can decide how large how wide how long you want to go with the blanket or if you're making a blanket with it if, if it's going to be a scarf a scarf whatever you're making and um, this is the stitch here okay it's a nice kind of a little 3d effect stitch on it it's not too lacy so it's ideal for baby blankets they won't catch their fingers in it and um, and yet it's not too thick either so this is it in a square and you can also work it in a rectangle okay um, I've worked it up, it can be done in different, this is one done in multicolours, it's a baby's blanket. And as I said, I just started off with six chain at the beginning and as I went along then I decided how large or how small I wanted it to be. It can be worked, all of the examples I've shown you here are all worked in double knitting yarn. But it can be worked in different types of yarn, different types of yarn weights. Um, it's a fairly straightforward uh, stitch. All you need are your chains, your uh, treble crochet stitch, and that's it, your slip knot at the beginning. Okay, so if you are ready, we'll grab a hook. Well, my poor hook. It's on its last legs. I don't know what I've done. So I have a back up in case it does fall apart. We grab a hook, grab some yarn, most importantly, grab a cuppa. By the way, on this cup or mug, this was given to me by some um, transition year students in secondary school. Hi to everybody who has subscribed from there. Um, and on it, it says holding it together with crocheting. So I think we've held it well together over the last couple of years. And um, I hope to do so over the next good few years. Okay, so if everybody is ready, let's start working our corner to corner stitch. Okay, so I'm using um, it's double knitting yarn again, and it has a little slight fleck in it. Okay, so I'm just going to make my slip knot. Okay, and you from here you're going to chain six. So yarn around your hook, pull through one, yarn around, pull through again. It's two. Yarn around, pull through again. Three, four, five, and six. Okay. From there, you're going to count back to the fourth chain from your hook. So one, two, three, four. Into your fourth chain with a double crochet stitch. The double crochet is yarn around and into your chain, yarn around and pull through, yarn around again and pull through two, yarn around again and pull through two. And you're going to repeat that into the next chain and into the last chain. So yarn around again into your next chain, yarn around your hook and pull through. You'll have three loops on your chain. Do remember I use the UK terms for crochet. So this is our treble crochet stitch. I know the US terms would be a, this would be a double crochet stitch. 
and once more. Now make sure you go into your chain, not into your slip knot. Okay, yarn around again and pull through two. Yarn around again and pull through two. So this is corner to corner. So here now you can see you've made one, I like to call these blocks. You've made one block and this is your corner here. Okay, so each block is going to comprise of three treble crochet stitches and a chain space here. And that's the whole pattern throughout. So from here, you're going to chain up another six. So one, what's that? Sorry. So one, two, three, four, five, and six. And you're going to do exactly the same thing. You're going to count back your four chains, one or to the fourth chain, one, two, three, four, and you're going to work a treble crochet stitch into the next three chains. So into this one, we're going to work a treble crochet stitch. Yarn around your hook into your next chain. Yarn around and pull through two. Yarn around and pull through two. And yarn around again. And into your last chain. And now you have another building block. Now you need to, okay, so you have your first building block is dangling here. You need to flip it up and you're going to attach this building block to this building block. And how you're going to do that is just go through the chain space, not through any of the chains. You're just going through the chain space and it's just with a slip stitch. Okay. So now you should have something like this. Now, you need to put another block on top of this block. Okay. And to do, to do that, it's just chain three and three treble crochet stitches into the chain space. So that's my chain of three. Now I'm working into the chain space. And I'm going to put three treble crochet stitches into the chain space. So that's one. That's two. And that's three. So now you should have something like this. So we are actually working Right. We are working this part here at the moment. Okay. So your corner to corner literally means from this corner to this corner up here. Okay. And you're going to be increasing width ways and increasing length ways until you get it to the size you want. Then you have to decrease and you'll meet in the corner up at the top. Okay, so, so you're at the edge now, okay, and when you are either on this side or on that side, your chain is always going to be a chain of six. When you're working your blocks, you'll start it off with a chain of three. That'll make more sense as we go along. So now we're going to go six chain up again one two three 
four, five, and six. And again, you're going to count back your four chain. One, two, three, to the fourth one. And again, you're going to put three treble crochet stitches, sorry, one treble crochet stitch into the next three chain. So that's one, That's two and into the last chain. Okay, so our three treble crochet stitches with our chain space here at the beginning. So now you're going to flip it up and you want to attach this block to this block. And all you have to do is make a slip stitch into, into the chain space. And a slip stitch is you just grab your yarn and pull it through, right through the loop on your hook. So now we're starting to build up the blocks in the middle. Okay. So now we need to make a block to go on top of this block. And as I said, each block is made up of three chain and three treble crochet stitches into the chain space. So this is one. Oh, sorry, I seem to be off fingers and thumbs because this is my first video in a while and um, looking through my camera is quite a bit. Uh, Done it again. It's a little bit difficult to get the swing of it again. Okay, so that's our three chain and our three treble crochet, or yeah, treble crochet stitches. So now we're going to attach this block to this block, and we're just going to make a slip stitch. And that attaches them. But we need to make a block on top of this. And I think this is where some people go wrong. They think, oh, I'm at the edge. So I don't need to do another block. I'll do my six chain up. But you're not at the edge. You need to work a block on top of this block. And then that will be your edge. So again, it's three chain up. and three treble crochet stitches. So now you can see you're more over at the edge now. Okay, so now you can see we have made a corner. So it's six chain up. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six. And again, you're going to go back to your fourth chain from your loop or from your hook. One, two, three, four. And into that fourth one, we're going to work a treble crochet stitch. And into the next chain, we'll work a treble crochet stitch. And into the last chain, we're going to work a treble crochet stitch. Now, when I'm doing this, I don't pick up the two loops. I just pick up one loop. Just makes it a little bit easier for you. And into the last chain. So again, just flip up your work. 
you will get to a point where you will actually be turning the work. At the moment, it's only this size, so it's easy just to flip it up. And you're going to attach this block to this block. And again, it's just a slip stitch into the chain space. You can see how it attaches it. And again, we're going to make another block to go on top of this one. So that's three chain you work. And three treble crochet stitches into the chain space. So now you need to attach this block to your next block with a slip stitch into the chain space and three chain one two three and three treble crochet stitches one two, three and again you're going to do a slip stitch into the chain space here to attach this block to this block and your slip stitch is yarn around pull through and pull through the loop on your hook and again be very careful make sure you do finish off your side okay so we need to make another block on top of this and this is just repeated over and over and over again until you get it the size that you want they're like little steps okay so again at the sides when you're at the sides you make a chain of six two three four five six go back to your fourth chain which is this one here and you're going to work a treble crochet stitch into there no nope. Is that going? And another treble crochet stitch into your last chain. And now you're going to turn your work now and slip stitch into the chain space of the of the next block to join them make a chain of three and then three treble crochet stitches into the chain space In this pattern, you're not actually going into any stitches. You're going into your chains, all right, but you're not going into any of the treble crochet stitches that you're making. Okay, so you're going to join this block to this block with a slip stitch. So now we're going to work another block on top of this, which is one, two, three. We're going to work three treble crochet stitches. One. Two. And I need more wool.
Okay. And again, you're attaching the black you've just worked into the one beside it with a slip stitch in the chain space. And again, three chain up. Three treble crochet stitches. And that's that block finished. And onto our last block. And you attach it with a slip stitch into the chain space. You work your three chain, two and three. And you're going to work your three treble crochet stitches. So now you can continue on, okay, and make it as long or as wide as you like. You can make it into the square. And when you have it the size that you want, come back to me and I'll show you how to start decreasing it. So now I have worked a couple of more rows. Okay, so I've decided I'm going to make this into the square first and then I'll show you how to make it into a rectangle. So, as we all know, the square has four sides. And as you were working this at the moment, you are increasing on this side and also along this side at the same time. So therefore, we are going to be decreasing on this side and on this side at the same time. And that's how it makes it into a square. So <clears throat> this is my last one that I have finished off. Okay, I'm just going to work one more row just to recap. Because this works up so fast, it's a very, it's one of those stitches that you go to fairly frequently because it works up so fast and it does give a nice effect. Two, three, four, five, and six. One, two, three, four, into the fourth chain from the hook. One, two. I'm trying to pull my yarn and I'm leaning on it. Ever. Into the last one. Three. Slip stitch into your next chain. Slip stitch into the next chain space. So remember, it's six chains when you're working on the sides. And when you are making your blocks in your work, it's only three chain. And the decreasing part of it is actually quite straightforward enough. So I'm just going to finish off this row. I'll just get down to the last block here. So come back and join me then. So now I have just about completed that row. I've. This is my last block here. and I'm going to attach that block to this block with my slip stitch. Now, from here, I don't want to make another increase because then that's just going to make the the sample longer. So I'm going to turn my work here and I'm going to slip stitch into the tops, 
this is actually the first place where we actually go into the stitch. I'm going to slip stitch into the tops of the treble crochet stitches below. So that's two, that's three, and I'm going to slip stitch into my chain space. Okay, so from here then you can make a block to go on top of this and to make your block, you're not increasing it, you're just going to make your block which is three chain and into the chain space. into the chain space with three treble crochet stitches. Okay. It will straighten out as we go further along. Okay, and again, we're going to attach this block to the block beside it. And then you're going to continue on down your row as before until you get to your last block. When you get to your last block, come back to me. So now I have worked that row and I'm down to my last block. And again, we're now decreasing. So I'm going to attach this block to our last block there with a slip stitch but I'm not going to work another block in here. I'm going to turn my work and I'm going to work a slip stitch across the treble crochet stitches below. So into the stitch, just to show you, I'm taking up the two loops. See the front loop and the back loop two loops of the stitch to the next one and then into the chain space with a slip stitch as well. So now we're straightening off this side. So now your work should look something like so. And from here then you're going to just do three chain up. Remember we are now decreasing so we're not increasing. Increasing we were using six chains on either side of our work. So three chain up and three treble crochet stitches into our chain space. And again slip stitch into your chain space. Three chain, three trebles, slip stitch into your chain space, and again, three chains and three trebles. And continue until you get to your second last block of your row. So now I'm on my second last block of the row and I'm going to work my three chain, my three trebles. And then I'm going to slip stitch into the chain space of my next block. And that's as much as I do with that block. I'm not going to work another block over it. Again, turn your work. And then you're going to slip stitch into your three treble crochet stitches. and slip stitch into the chain space. 
So now you can see how it's straightening off completely. Again, my wall is not coming out of the ball like I want it to. Normally I pull the ends out of the middle of the ball and this time I didn't. And this is why I have to stop so many times. Okay. So to start off again, we're going to work three chains. We're going to work three treble crochet stitches into our chain space. And then we're going to attach that block to this block here with a slip stitch into our chain space. Okay, so I'm going to continue until I'm down to the last two blocks and I'll show you how to finish it off. So now I'm just down to, I have just one more block to do in here and I'll just finish off this row and turn my work. So again, slip stitch into here, turn your work, and then slip stitch into each of the treble crochet stitches. And into the chain space. So this is the last block. So one two and three, three treble crochet stitches, and then you're going to attach that block to the block previously with a slip stitch. And that is your square completed. Now normally um, any blankets I have made using the corner to corner I have put a little border around like in the blanket I showed you at the beginning I have a little shell border going around it. Okay. So that's the corner to corner and that's how you make it into a square. Now, if you bear with me for a few moments and I'll show you how to make it into a rectangular because most blankets will be rectangular shaped. Okay, just bear with me a second and I'll be back to you in a minute. So now I am back um, and I'm going to show you how to finish um, to decrease when you are working the rectangle shape. So with the rectangle shape, obviously, one side is longer than the other. OK, so you can decide whether you need to have a longer length or a longer width. OK, doesn't matter really. There's no right or wrong way with this stitch. Okay, so I have finished up here. I'm going to work another row. Six. And we go into the fourth chain uh, from the hook. I've missed a chain. Let me see. Didn't count that right. Or have I made too many chains? One, two, three, four. I think I've made too many. One, two, three, four, five, six, I have. Okay. That makes sense. 
So it's one, two, three, and into the fourth one. Sorry if that drew any of you there. So I have increased on this side, but when I get to the end of this row, I'm not going to increase. I'm going to start decreasing. So I'm going to work down this row until I get to the, the second last block. Okay, come back to me in a minute. So now I'm just down to the second last block here. make the block as normal but because this is the side that I'm going to decrease on like in the square I will just slip stitch into the chain space and then turn my work so slip stitch into this chain space and I'm going to turn the work then I'm going to slip stitch over or into the tops of the treble crochet stitches and I'm going to slip stitch into the chain space as well. So now you can see this side here is still growing okay but this side down here, I have started to decrease on it. So I'm going to work all the way back up to this point here. And then I'll show you um, how it looks when we just continue to increase on this side. But we're decreasing on this side. Right, so I'm on my second last block here. Two and three. One, two, three travels, and then I'm going to slip stitch into the chain space here. Now, so remember, I'm decreasing down here, but I'm going to increase. So again, I have to work another block on top of this. So three chain and three treble crochet stitches. Okay. And then again, I'm starting off again. This is the side I'm increasing. So remember increasing is six chain. I better count them for us. One, two, three, four five and six and then again I'm going to work into the fourth chain from my hook with a treble crochet stitch into the fifth chain from the hook and into the sixth chain from the hook Turn my work and continue as normal three chain and three treble crochet stitches one two three and attach that block to the next block. Continue on down to this side again. Okay. So now I'm down to, again, the second last block. And you work it as normal. But as this is the side where we are decreasing, you 
don't walk into the next block. You just slip stitch into it to attach the block you've just worked. Okay. And again, you're going to turn your work. <coughs> and you're going to do a slip stitch into each of your treble crochet stitches. Across. And into your chain with a slip stitch. So you're going to continue <coughs> until you have your work the length that you want. Okay, so if you're making a scarf, you continue that way for until you get to the, the, the length of the scarf. All right, so when you have the length worked, or the width work, whichever way you're, you're decreasing and increasing. When you have it the size that you want, you then have to finish it off similar to the way we finished it off with the square. So I'm going to um, work this bit and come back to me in a few minutes and I'll show you how to finish it off. So I'm down to my second last block again. So now I, for this sample, I'm going to say, right, I have enough work. And I'm going to start decreasing now going across. Okay, so my last block. Three chain, three treble. Oops, Daisy, nearly lost the stitch. And then again, slip stitch into the block before it but I don't want to increase anymore so I'm going to turn my work and I'm going to slip stitch across my three treble crochet stitches one two and three and slip stitch into the chain space And then I'm going to work the row as normal. Now we are decreasing on this side. So now it's our three chain. So we're just starting off a normal block again. Three treble crochet stitches. And slip stitch into the block beside it. Three chain. Three treble crochet stitches. And slip stitch into the block beside it. I'm going to pause the video again and just finish this off. And again, I've just finished that row and I've finished my last block. And then we are decreasing on both sides. So just attach that block to that block. Turn your work. Slip stitch across your three treble crochet stitches. into your chain space and continue in this fashion until you get up to your corner. So that's the square rectangle or the square corner to corner sample and that's the rectangle corner to corner. It is one of those blankets that needs or one of those stitches that does need a little bit of um, a board or even just a few a row or two of double crochet stitches around it um, and even the um, crab stitch around which is the uh, double crochet stitch worked backwards which I'll do a video on that one of these days okay everybody I hope you enjoyed that tutorial um, Many thanks to the 490 subscribers so far. My little channel is getting out there. I'm quite happy with that. 
So if you haven't subscribed, maybe you could hit the subscribe button. Also put on your notifications so that you'll get notified when I have a new video posted. Okay, so until the next time, take care of yourselves and happy hooking. Bye-bye for now.